Now it's possible to record in real time various changes made to any of the parts using the sound palette. To do that, we first go into record ready and check that we're still in mix recording mode, because if we're in replace, this won't work at all. Okay, next isolate the part that you'd like to modify. Well, let's change the level of the bass in real time. So part one is the bass, sound palette, level. Start the sequence recording. Okay, let's return to the beginning and check that that bass sound change was recorded. Yeah, it works very well, but if you, if you don't do it particularly well, if you don't move the slider in the right way, you can always hit the undo button. So let's get rid of that real-time recording. Okay, let's try exactly the same thing on the keyboard pad, but this time I'm going to modify the filter and cutoff rather than the level. So, to the sound palette, filter. Select the part, part three, record ready, start the sequence playing. Increase the resonance. Stop, rewind, and once again, hear the sound changes. Well, obviously there I'm exaggerating the sound changes so that you can hear exactly what's going on, but it's a particularly useful tool to be able to automate the sound palette.